Hello everyone, today we're discussing Mianserin hydrochloride, a medication used to treat depression. It affects how brain chemicals work, aiming to improve mood. We'll cover how it works in the body, its intended effects, and potential side effects. Let's dive in and understand this medication better. Mianserin hydrochloride, categorized as a tetracyclic antidepressant is a psychoactive medication mainly used for major depressive disorder treatment. By influencing neurotransmitter levels, especially serotonin and noradrenaline in the brain, it helps regulate mood. This drug is effective in managing symptoms like low mood, lack of energy, sleep problems, and appetite changes, common in depression. Understanding its pharmacokinetics sheds lights on how the body processes this drug, informing us about its effectiveness and potential interactions. Mianserin hydrochloride is taken by mouth and is quickly absorbed from the gut. Food can slow down this absorption process. The drug in its active forms spread widely throughout the body, suggesting it distributes extensively. They mainly bind to albumin, a protein in the blood. In the body, mianserin is broken down through various processes, forming metabolites like desmethylmianserin and hydroxylated derivatives. These metabolites are crucial for the drug's effects. The body mainly gets rid of mianserin in its metabolites through the kidneys, excreting them primarily in the urine. Now let's delve into the pharmacodynamics of mianserin hydrochloride. Let's start by focusing on how mianserin hydrochloride acts on serotonin receptors. This drug antagonizes the 5-HT2A receptors, which are specific serotonin receptors in the brain. By doing so, it hinders the normal function of these receptors, leading to an increase in serotonin levels in the synaptic cleft. This elevation in serotonin levels is critical for mood regulation and is believed to contribute to the antidepressant effect of the drug. Next, let's discuss its effects on histamine receptors. Mianserin hydrochloride acts as an antagonist on histamine H1 receptors. This blockade results in sedative and antihistaminic effects. These effects are valuable, especially for individuals dealing with insomnia or sleep disturbances that often accompany depressive disorder. Furthermore, this drug inhibits alpha-adrenergic receptors, potentially causing orthostatic hypotension, a drop in blood pressure upon standing. It is essential to monitor for this effect and adjust dosages accordingly to ensure patient safety. Now let's move on to exploring the pathological effects of mianserin. It induces sedation and drowsiness due to its interaction with histamine receptors, potentially affecting alertness. Additionally, it can cause a drop in blood pressure when standing, posing a risk of dizziness. The drug may lead to mild anticholinergic effects like dry mouth and blurred vision. Weight gain and increased appetite are also linked to mianserin, which could be challenging for some individuals. Lastly, it may influence heart rate and rhythm, necessitating careful monitoring. Now let's discuss how mianserin hydrochloride is regulated and managed. It is classified as a Schedule IV S4 prescription-only medicine, meaning only pharmacists can dispense it upon a valid prescription from healthcare professionals. Various healthcare experts can prescribe mianserin hydrochloride. General practitioners, psychiatrists, special medical practitioners, and clinical psychologists. They evaluate the patient's condition to determine if this medication is suitable. The interdisciplinary team, including nurses, pharmacists, psychiatrists, general practitioners, and clinical psychologists, is instrumental in its administration and counseling. Their expertise ensures safe usage, guiding patients throughout their treatment. Next, let's talk about essential aspects regarding counseling for mianserin hydrochloride. First, let's address dosage and administration. It is important to provide clear instructions regarding the prescribed dosage and how often it should be taken. Additionally, clarity on whether to take it with or without food is crucial for proper administration. Moving on, we'll discuss potential side effects. Patients need to be informed about common side effects like drowsiness, dry mouth, potential weight gain, or constipation. It is reassuring to note that these side effects typically diminish as the body adjusts to the medication. However, it is essential to emphasize the importance of reporting any severe or persistent side effects. Lastly, we'll touch on interactions and precautions. It is crucial to advise individuals to avoid consuming alcohol while on this medication to prevent adverse reactions. Also, if someone intends to discontinue the medication, stressing the importance of consulting their doctor to gradually taper the dosage is key for their safety and well-being. Now, it's time to test your knowledge.
we'll end our discussion here. Thank you everyone for taking part.